What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. This is another video in the Envato Elements series where I share with you how to edit and customize After Effects templates. In case you've missed the previous videos in this series, please check the Envato playlist in my channel or click on the link at the top to take you to the previous videos. So let's start. The template I'm going to use today is called Watercolor Promo by Rayfi Artist. Download the zip file to your desired location on your PC or Mac. Unzip the file and launch After Effects. Go to File and open Project. Now locate your project file. If you get this message to say it will be converted to version 10, simply click OK. And in case you don't have any of the fonts installed on your PC or Mac, it's OK, you can always choose any other font that you want. Now, when you come here, open the project you will see different folders here and a composition as well. You already have a pre comp one here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is simply click and double click on there to go inside and you will see a load of different compositions within that main composition. Now it depends on what template you use, depends on how it's put together by different creators. This structure may be different from one template to another template, but the main idea and the main structure will be pretty much the same that you will have a few compositions within the main composition and you can edit those uh, by yourself. I always suggest also is to create a new folder up here where you can actually bring all your audio and video files and any images as well. So I will say images to that one and then you can bring all of your content here just to make things a bit more organized and structured. So what I'm going to do is simply go into my PC and import some images that I will use. Okay, and I'm just going to push this over here into this images folder so that I have things organized. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to be editing one of the these compositions because if you understand one, you will understand all of them. And as you can see, it has many compositions. Just in case if you have too many compositions or too much stuff in here, you can also hide some of them as well. So you see where this button is pressed, which is the, the shy button. You can actually hide all of these as well. If you're not going to be using them, it's probably best to actually lock them up so that you don't mess around with it and they don't get changed and also hide them away so you can easily work with your timeline window. If the shy button is pressed just make sure that the, the master shy button is, is switched on and then that will hide all of those unwanted or shy items for you. So now we can easily work with our compositions that we want to edit okay. So I'm just going to go into number 80 And here it is. So in here, as again, as you can see, there are more compositions inside them. The idea is that they're all pre-made for you. You just put your content in, change the text. If you want to change the colors, feel free to do that. And then you're done. So let's have a look at the composition number 15. And in here, what I need to do is there's another composition inside it, which is a text. So I'm just going to change this. like that and then you are done okay it's as simple as that now what you can also do is to I'm just gonna for the sake of it I'm just gonna go to the new and put a adjustment layer and for that I'm gonna go to um, I've done the adjustment layer now of course I'm gonna go to effects and preset and I'm gonna go to saturation hue saturation under the color correction. I'm just going to drag this effect onto it. Instead of the colored composition, I just want to make it black and white. For that, you just need to make the, the master saturation under the effect controls to minus 100. Okay, and there you go. The color is gone. Simply come out of it. That will be your black and white now because we changed the hue saturation. And now what I'm also going to do is go back to my project window and drag down the image that I pulled earlier on. And I'm just going to put it on top of this. Okay. Once you've done that, the best thing to do is to either delete this one or make it invisible. Okay. I'll do that. And now I'm going to just change the, the size of it, the scale. So I'll bring it down a bit. Do something like this. 
as long as it fits and this is it and just push up a bit okay it doesn't matter what it is you just just for illustration purposes and you can change all of these other compositions inside it as well so over here um, I'm gonna also bring another photo okay and I'm gonna drag it down the first thing I should do is to just push it into the images folder and then I'm gonna drag it down place it on top of this placeholder image and then reduce the, the scale okay and this is it okay now what I'm also going to do is to just change the 0 2 as well and I'll bring another image here drop it down and make the other invisible and then we go back here this is it and that's how it's as simple as that you import your images and your video files your footages and you place it where you want you can change the colors as well of course you can change the the, the camera direction or the position place it where you want change the text and this is it your composition is ready so when we go back to now our pre-comp one this is how it's going to look like There we go okay so it's as simple as that and now to export this file what you need to do is simply first of all save it after that go into either the add to adobe media encoder queue or add to render queue depending on what you want um, i always go for the media encoder because the the file size actually is a lot smaller than what you get in the render queue and you have more options as well so i always go for the media encoder queue so i hope the video was useful for you if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon and we will see you in the next video thanks bye